guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to draw eyes. Um, so I'm going to be using Galeria acrylic paint. Um, this is a very good paint, I'm using titanium white. I will also be using Sakura Micron pens. I've used these pens for several years and they're very good quality. Um, I will also be using a Tombow watercolor pen. Um, and these are very useful, you can use them for broad stripes and other kinds of artwork. Um, I'll be using a paintbrush and an average artist pencil. So I'm going to start by drawing a curved line for these eyes. Now, most of you will know if you've done eyes before that you need to use different kinds of lines to help you draw them. I tend to use four different lines, so I say that the eye has four different sides to it. Um, you can see these lines right now. Um, I just tend to do uh, four semi-curved lines um, and I do this on each side of the face. Now I'm going to begin to darken these lines and to um, make them more curved and more in the shape of an eye. Um, what I like to start off doing first of all is um, one big line um, that is basically uh, the mascara of the eye um, and I like to draw it curved, very swooping. Um, you can experiment with this, you can see how far you like the um, swoop of the edge of it to go down. Um, I tend to do it as high as possible just so it doesn't look droopy but it depends on what your style is. Now I'm going to add detail to the edge of the eye. As you can see, I've already drawn uh, the iris um, and you can draw a line around this part, though I will do that later. Um, and just add in a bit more detail around the edge of the eye. As you can see I'm rounding out the edge of the eye to give it um, a better shape and I'm also drawing in a very small tear duct in the edge. Here you can now begin to add um, eyelashes. I tend to draw a separate line at the bottom of the eye um, and draw the eyelashes curving away from the edge of the eye and um, then I draw some more on the top. Um, I like to start at the very end of the swooping line that we made, um, I find that more easy. Now we begin to colour in the centre of the eye. I find this bit very fun, um, though it can be quite difficult to um, use the right blending. As you can see, I'm just using a simple paintbrush to um, add water and blend those colours together. This can take quite a while depending on what sort of look you want to give the eye. I want to give a sort of shadowed look um, and you can add more ink as you go along. Just here is a small detail I like to add, which is the um, the edge of the eyelid. Uh, I like to add this in in pencil and paint it over with some of the um, ink and water still left over from the eye. And now we 
just begin exactly the same process that um, we did on the other eye, just starting with the line and continuing on. Small detail I like to add here is to um, make more lashes so I double up some of the lashes and um, this can help give it more depth. And here is another of my favourite parts so you dip your paintbrush in the acrylic paint and form a small um, dot in each eye and this can show that the eye is real and it also um, shows where the light is coming from and also where your eye is looking. Something important you need to remember when drawing eyes is you have to have the um, dot in each eye pointing in the same direction. And there you have it, your eyes are complete. Also here are some other eyes that I've drawn in the past that I thought you would be interested in seeing. Another important point when you're drawing eyes is that when you're facing your eyes in a different direction, um, draw a curved line to show which way they are facing. Um, you can do this in any way, shape or form. I'm just giving two examples here of looking different ways. <laughs> 